What is going on guys? It is your boy Siso here, bringing you guys a Photoshop tour today, bringing you guys, I don't know why I didn't have that up, but bringing you guys a pretty cool, clean, hella clean, professional style banner design. I've been seeing a lot of things in the comment section, but like, yo, can we see more professional stuff or some more, uh, I don't know how the hell we can get any simpler, but this is pretty much what I came up with. I think this looks really, really good. So good that I actually might revamp my channel with some, like, a style like this. Um, I'm just a really good, I'm a really big fan of like, clean super clean and just like having things look really well and now if you say to yourself like yo i can do this this is hella easy like fair enough like it is easy but it's very easy to also mess up and very easy not to make it look as pretty or very professional as something like this right and now like this is an example in blue this looks pretty good as well i also put like little pictures in it uh very very simple stuff i didn't put as many links as here of course if i were to do it for myself i would make sure i do as many links it doesn't look as pretty with like a more links than just like one saying self i but regardless you see the example here but for the people who are like yo bro this is super easy then they do something like this and you're just like oh you know it's really good but it's not it's not there you're just missing something what you're missing is the quality and the like paying attention to what makes a good design from like something like this to something like this or something like this right there's a really big difference in control and lighting and it's very very simple to mess up so that's what i'm saying i want to show you guys how to do this and i'm pretty sure you guys would eat this up you guys love simplistic stuff and you guys love that things look pretty and it's pretty much what i like as well so um yeah don't forget to hit likes on the video equals a secret down below and uh really quickly i, I don't know <laughs> you guys have been noticing i like orange a lot and it's because my favorite color like i've been seeing in the comments yo can you use any other color scheme I'll do it if it makes any difference in the design, but I love orange, so I'm gonna stick with orange. The orange that I'm using in today's tutorial is the hex code uh, 4 or FCB707. Uh, that is the orange that I'm gonna be using. Uh, the blue that I use, I don't remember. Oh no, it's right here. The blue that I use was 197B94. So if you wanna get a blue and have the end result look somewhere close to this kind of blue, then use that hex code. If you wanna use orange, Use the orange hex code and you're pretty good to go. And do not forget guys, I also, uh, or I don't know why I said do not forget. Um, I'm almost at 60,000 subscribers. Like it's really close, we're at 59.3K. We're getting like maybe 30 a day. So it's like, bro, I am so ready, but I'm so not at the same time, but I'm so ready. So thank you guys so freaking much for just like sharing and loving and liking it. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Do not forget as well that top uh, three designs of the week, week three, make sure you guys go submit. I also did a new thing where I'm like bringing out like if you guys do like uh, plus 100 submissions, I'm gonna take one person who made it, like didn't make it and probably would have not made it that week. But just like taking the person who has like this really like, you know, off design and just like really wants help. I'm gonna take one person and really quickly review it and give them really quick tips so that it'll help people who are like, uh, I guess like, really demoralized or just like really not feeling that they can actually make it into the top three maybe you guys want to just use it for a uh kind of like a help kind of thing so don't forget to submit over there as well and uh yeah let's get started so of course the design like i said is very simple it's very easy to do however it's very easy to mess up and uh pretty much what i'm gonna do is just start off with the actual uh text here so what I use, oh, also before we start, oh god, I'm already know. So the fonts that I'm using in this tutorial, uh, the word that says Seso here, that one that's really white and that has the drop shadow on it, the font that I'm using there is called Boyer, I believe, right? So that's how it's spelt. If you guys put this all into font.com, you'll find them. This is where I get all of my fonts. Um, the one in the background here that has that nice gradient is called Move X, right? Uh, that's that one. Uh, it's also bold, by the way. I just, I just can't do that, but it's called Move X, and it also has bold on it. And the one on the top that says banner tutorial is called Pix, Pixima, Pixisma. So that's what you want to use that one. And of course, the also the links on the actual video, right? These right here, these little video links uh, or website links is called Nexa Bold. And this is one I use all the time for like, uh, just like kind of like subtext kind of thing. So if you guys want to use those, make sure you guys use those. All right, we're good to go. So this gives me free reign to type my uh, name, use Boyer font put my points pretty far up for the font size that's good enough it's pretty big we'll shrink it but what I want to do is I'm gonna do the same thing I do with my logo design now if you guys want to do this with like other letters either you want to combine fonts make your design maybe a little a little bit more fun or a little more you know have a little more pizzazz or something like that I don't know why I said like that but yeah have a little more pizzazz um dude I don't know what am I saying what time is it well that's why it's one o'clock um yeah, maybe you can do this as well. Like maybe like if you want to like you know, pen tool out the O or something like that, or or just make a new like a letter or something like that. If your name was like, if, let's just say my name is, I just put S C S O or S C S, excuse me, with a Boyer font, and then with the O, I wanted to use a different font. 
and I want to kind of do what I'm doing right now is going to put these two things together, how I did here, right? It looks pretty cool. It's just a very simple thing to do. And the way you do it is all you got to do is find out where you want to have this place. I'll say right there. And what I'm going to do is a whole control click on my uh, control on my keyboard, click on the thumbnail of the logo or the text, or whatever you want to use. And then you're going to also have to make sure you rasterize your text layer. So my Sesso layer right here has to be rasterized. That way I can erase it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select, modify, expand. Expand by four or so pixels is pretty good. Pressing OK on my Sesso layer right here, my text layer. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. And this will delete uh, basically the surrounding and make it look like my logo is like intruding in this. And it looks pretty cool. I do like how this looks a lot. And for, for just because like I did, I put mine in a different spot, as you can see. This is like more in here, but this is not, or excuse me, this is not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase like this little thing right here. And forgive me if it looks like any other letter, but I believe in my heart, this still looks like an O. Just gonna erase that little thing right there. And there we go, right? And I would also do, is I'm gonna just change my layer color from uh, this black to this white. There we go. And then yes, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna control click on both of these things. Control G to group them together. I'm just going to call this main text. So main text. On this main text, if you want to do this, uh, well, I'm going to press Control T really quickly. Hold Alt and Shift, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the top right point right here and just drag it to the left to make it a little smaller. And there we go. And what I was going to say is either you want to either like put it on the group. I'm going to put my layers on my group or select the each layer itself. But since I know I'm going to do the same thing on both of these two things, because I put two things together, I made a group out of it. And I'm going to basically double click on it to use the layer uh, style. And I'm going to make sure I put drop shadow on it. Like I said, you can either put it in a group or if you want to, if you need to do them separately, then do them separately. And I want to do is uncheck, uncheck use global light, put my angle to 90 degrees, which is basically up and down. Take, uh, take, take my size and put it all the way down to zero. And then for your distance, this is kind of like really up to you. I would say five is pretty good. It just depends like if it's too big for you like or too small for you, you can bring it up. Um, if it's too like too big for you, you want to bring it like super skinny, super slim, that's fine. I'm gonna say five is a pretty good number to stop at. Even six is pretty good as well. I'm gonna keep it on five though and just take my opacity on my multiply and lower it down a pretty fair amount. So I'm about to say 50 is pretty good. And that is all I want to do. That's all I'm going to do actually. And then pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just do the quick little gradient in the background for the Sesso word. And then I'm gonna get into the lighting or kind of like, you know, fixing and having a little fun with it. Um, I'm gonna just type in Sesso again. I don't know why I have Sesso Sesso, but who knows? Like, you know, Sesso and then Sesso in the background. It doesn't even matter at this point, okay? Uh, put it on bold. And we're gonna have to make this bigger, of course. I'm just gonna put it where I want it and then figure it out. Actually, that's pretty good. And that's in the middle and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on overlay and I'm gonna lower my opacity down and I'm gonna fix this later so I'm just gonna call this Sesso and then make sure this is below the main text that way you don't actually see how that happens like it's overlaid on top of this, do this dark, uh, drop shadow just put it below it and there you go <clears throat> so now it's looking it's looking already clean so I like how this looks so far what we're gonna do is I'll make a new layer and I'm using my pen tool for this so pretty much uh, P on your keyboard is the shortcut for the pen tool, which is right here, right? And uh, we're just gonna click, click again over here. Oops, click and drag to make a nice little, uh, nice little like curve here. We're just kind of like making a curved triangle on the, like the top left side. We're gonna go ahead and just connect on the outside. Don't go trying to like you know, don't really try to like follow this as well. I've seen people do that. Just no reason. Just go on the outside because what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it in with drop down white. Or either you can select the color, but we're going to use white, right? Press OK, and then right-click, delete path. And what you got here is a perfect cutout because you just went all the way on the outside, and this is good. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your blend mode from normal and put it to overlay, lower your opacity down. You probably seen me use this technique before. Uh, what you didn't see me do was probably like mess around with it a little bit more than just doing this. Now I'm just going to call this one, just so you guys know what I'm duplicating. So on this one layer right here, this the simple layer that we just did, press Control J. And we're making a duplicate of it. I'm just going to drag this duplicate below this one. And I'm going to take my fill and lower all the way down to zero. What this will do is completely get rid of the actual layer uh, being shown. But the 20 opacity will come in handy when we actually use layer styles. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to double click on this duplicate. I'm going to use uh, inner glow. Take my color here. Change it to white. Take my size here. Mm, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Or like, we'll say like 25. All right, we'll say 25. We'll press OK, and the reason why you can see that a little bit while your fill is on zero is because your opacity is not at zero. Your fill is just getting rid of everything that's on the actual design uh, layer, but actually your layer size will actually be seen. So if I put my opacity up a little bit, you'll only see this little kind of like a stroke kind of that's going on here. So it's really simple to do that. And pretty much I'm just gonna take my opacity and leave it at zero. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize a layer. While I'm gonna rasterize a layer, it's gonna change my blend mode back from normal. All you have to do is click on overlay again. <clears throat> then you can take your eraser, a nice soft brush eraser, and then erase kind of like around. And what I like to do is kind of like erase right where like I guess this little this little light right here is gonna be like shown where it says Sesso right here. Like, and you can do this like multiple times or whatever, but this is for me, it's pretty good. And then I'm just gonna call this two because I'm gonna do it again is I'm gonna duplicate number one, drag this below everything. And just move it with my V, uh, my V tool, which is my moving tool. It's gonna lower my opacity down like maybe like five points, so fifteen. So like fur around with the the opacity there, and I'm gonna take my uh, my eraser, my soft brush eraser, and just kind of erase something like this. It kind of gives me like a bevel here, right? You can see that kind of two different tones, like a bevel. It's like this, like this is like a little higher up. That's what I mean by bevel. And then it just kind of looks like it fades out, and that's kind of like how I like that. And now if it's up to you, um, for like my banner design here, I had like one here, I had that, that little, that little, uh, that little light thing right here as well. And then like one right here and then one right here. So there's not that many little bevel spots that I had on my actual design. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and just call this number three. This is the third one I did. And what I do is either, by the way, if we're going to do, if we're going to make a duplicate of this, right? I'm just going to make a duplicate. Control uh, T to free transform, right click, flip horizontal. If you want to do this, that's perfectly fine if you want to just like erase something like like right there or something like that or whatever you want to do um make sure what you don't do is control t and then like make it bigger don't make it bigger because if you actually uh do that you'll see that these lines are really really crisp but if you see compared to these two lines right here they're not as crisp as each other you can see there's like you know this defined pixel points this was kind of blurry so that's why you don't want to make it any bigger and that's also a big mistake people do when they do like very simple stuff like this right so i'm going to do is I'm just gonna click one more time, maybe going which way? I should just like make one go like right there. Yeah, we'll make a new layer. Take my pen tool. Do something like that. Connect it all the way around. Fill it in with white. And then overlay, lower the opacity down. And then what I will do is just uh, control J again, duplicate it. And or I'm probably gonna have to Probably gonna have to do another one. So another pen tool, going like here, going around, right clicking, fill the path. This is all like really, this is all up to you at this point. That's why I'm just going it fast. It's just like trying to figure out where I want these little things at. I'm gonna take my eraser. I'm gonna erase this because I don't really want that. I'm just gonna take my eraser, kind of make it like do that. Right, I'm kind of like concave lines. I like how this looks. So we have like these bevels right here, 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 and here. And this is like making our design just look a little bit better, a little more like, you know, have that not authentic feel, but just, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It doesn't matter at this point. Um, pretty much what I'm gonna do now is a very simple three adjustments. So the three things I'm gonna do is brightness and contrast, vibrance, and um, curve. So what I'm gonna do right first is I'm just gonna say, um, I'm gonna say vibrance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my saturation, put it all the way up, I take my vibrance and put this pretty up as well. So I'm gonna say like 65 and 90. And then what this is gonna basically do is give you that little bit of an orange tone, um, which kind of like makes the orange you made in the beginning like very, very orange, of course, because you're making your vibrance like a lot higher. And then what's also happening is the overlaid layers of like this really cool little concentrating lines that we did over here. This was four and this was five. Uh, those concentrating lines that we did, um, it kind of like, you know, makes other oranges a lot more either uh, darker or vibrant or so, or more lighter, yes, like more yellow and not orange. So that's what we did there and that's why what's happening with vibrance and that's why that's doing that. So what I'm gonna do now is over vibrance, I'm gonna do brightness and, uh, uh, brightness and contrast. So pretty much I'm gonna put my brightness to like 65 and take my brightness or my contrast to 65 and take my brightness and kind of like, I don't even wanna move it too much. I kind of wanna use my brightness and leave it at five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my S curve in. So take my curve, take a nice little S curve. And that looks pretty good. Perfect, I like how that looks. <clears throat> so 
So pretty much that is like the hardest part for the tutorial. What you want to do now is you want to go back to that layer that we had Sesso on, right? That we have that old, like that overlay layer. And what I'm going to do is on this Sesso layer now, is this is where I can actually put in those, uh, those little cool little, um, like these little vibrant, or excuse me, these gradient things in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer above the text, right click uh, Clubby Mask, and this is just going to be a light, or really not really a light, because we're going to change our foreground color to black, right? And we're going to take a soft brush over this layer right here, that's what's click mask, and I'm just gonna take our brush and go over it just like that, right? And pretty much, it'll just give us that nice little, that gradient going on there. If I want to, let's see what happens if I throw it below everything. That doesn't look bad. I don't like, I like how that looks actually. I'm just gonna take my opacity on my main text, lower it a little bit, and just do something like that, all right. Looks well, pretty good. All right, cool. So that's like that, right? So we're gonna do the same exact technique, but just with a box. Now, the box that I used for my little uh, links was this rounded rectangle tool. And all I did was I kind of guessed where I was like, you know, doing this, but I'm just gonna guess again. And we'll say like right there. Um, oh, uh, so for this instance, I have my fill on or my fill off, my stroke off. If you're familiar with uh, Illustrator, that's pretty much what this is. So you have a fill, uh, layer color like like fill layer color and then like a stroke layer color what I want to do in this case is the opposite of what you probably would have default is I want to take my stroke and take it uh, turn it off which is this little dash here this red dash click on that it'll turn it off just like so and you want to click on the fill box and just make it white and this is what I want right so I think that's pretty close to the middle it's a pretty good length I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm gonna rasterize this layer just because I don't like the big box um, take my overlay or change my blend mode from normal to overlay and then lower the opacity down and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer again clipping mask it take that black foreground color and I'm just gonna go opposite of where I went the last time so it goes from light to dark here I'm just gonna make it go from dark to light on this side and this is a pretty nice I do like how that looks now what I'm gonna do as well is I'm just gonna go ahead and click control click on that the box here I'm not gonna go to the layer right here, brash versus layer, the Sesso layer, because I wanna erase this. I don't want that to be like, I just want it to be perfect. I want it to look like, I don't want to have overlaid uh, like that layer that look like this, right? I don't want to do this. That's not what I want it to do. I wanna make sure I control click on the box. Oops, what the heck? Control click on the box and then delete on the text layer and that way it doesn't look like sloppy, it looks perfect, looks good, and this is how I wanted to have it. And now what I can do now, I can just type in youtube.com slash SissoHQ, all my social media links, of course, right? And this is right now, it's inside. I'm just gonna take it out. Perfect. And, right, and then we'll just go ahead and put this to like, I don't know, freaking two pixels next to bold, or even one. I think I even did it on one. I don't know what I did. I think I did one or 1.2 or something like that for like the, the font size. And this is pretty good. If I want to like, get like, have a little fun with it, maybe I just take the Sesso HQ, make that kind of like orange, right? Ooh, that looks good. I did that for my example. That looks really good like that, right? And then pretty much at this time, you can just like either group this little thing together, which is that little box that you made. You can just call it the link box. And then what you can do is pretty much Alt Shift and then drag it and just throw it down. Use your like your arrow keys to like kind of space it right here, right? And then what you can do is Control T and then right click Free Transform, uh, and then flip horizontal, and that's what it'll do, right? It'll flip horizontal because you can have like this really cool like, uh, like you can see here. Uh, dark light, light dark, and then kind of like line this up. Now, if you saw what I just did, you saw how it, when I flip horizontal, it has this really big box. The reason why it has a really big box and not just what you have here is because of this layer right here. Your little brush layer that you did, it's really big because your brush goes, of course, beyond the box because we have a clip mask. It's kind of like a cheat sheet to not have to worry about it. But when you want to flip it, like I just did right now, it's kind of annoying. So if you guys do, like, don't want this at all and you want to kind of get rid of it, it's pretty quick to do it. All you have to do is hold control, select the thumbnail of the box, uh, use the M selection tool, which just press M on your keyboard or go to this little toolbox here and go to the rect uh, rectangle marquee tool. And then what you want to do is right click, select the inverse. Uh, basically what this is doing is selecting everything else besides the box and go to your layer right here, which is your uh, that little brush layer. Hold, uh, just press delete on your keyboard. And the whistles do is you'll see that, you'll see it right there on the actual thumbnail. It'll get rid of everything, but it'll still keep everything in the box. 
And then basically now, if you were to go ahead and duplicate it, right, just drag it using Alt Shift, you know, getting it centered with your arrow keys and then Control T, it should no longer do it. However, all right, why are you, all right, you're making me look bad. Why is it still there? I mean, what I ask, what I also can do is just like use the rectangle marking tool and make a box and kind of see race. I'm not entirely sure why it's still there. Yo, in a perfect world, it should be perfectly fine. Not, I'm just like invisible erasing right now. I'm just gonna erase with a hard brush everything around like outside of this area. It's another way of doing it. If I press Control T, now it's getting rid of it. I'm not entirely sure why that did that. But you know, you get the point now. So when I press Control T, it'll only be within this box and I can just flip horizontal and it'll be perfectly ready and set to go. Now, that's that really cool thing about this. And then pretty much I can just, you know, I'll, we'll say these are all different links in this case. But what I would have to do, of course, is make this not that color, but yellow. Ooh, I don't know how that would work. You guys have to figure that out. I don't know how that would work, too. Um, because I can't really see it too much well on that. Maybe because the font is not super like super thick. But what you can also do now is I would say a, I would say below the actual CC is you can make that simple focus light. So that uh, make a simple white uh, white form color. A nice soft brush. One hit on the top. And the reason why I say do it on top of the CC is because the actual uh, the hit of white won't actually be white. It'll kind of just be like a really nice light coming out and so this looks pretty good this is pretty much almost done and if you do like if you do do another focus light on the top it'll be like more white and kind of like dull and that's why i said do it below the color correction but if you kind of like how this looks you can keep them or you can keep them both and just lower the opacity on one of them um what i do really quickly is uh two things actually what i can do is above everything i can use something like my brushes now if you don't have like a stock brush or you don't have my stock brush pack or something like that uh, we can do is just make little circles little white circles with like the hard brush so what i mean by that is literally taking your brush using a excuse me hard brush and making small circles just like this you can do that right i already have like a stock that kind of looks like that that I, what i want it like i'm just going to erase a couple of them because i don't need too many right something like this right you just want to have something like that or there we go right and then with this, this is pretty cool. It's just like these little fun, quirky stocks. If you guys don't actually know what these are, these are my brush stocks. Um, this is just version two right now. I also have version one like here and it basically be filled with a whole bunch of, you'll see it on my uh, selfie.com slash, slash sitsohq store. You'll see them all on the actual preview. It looks pretty good. It, it is actually really, really good. It's basically over like, I believe right now, 200 stocks. So you get 200 stocks for only five bucks and they get updated, uh, you know, however many times throughout the, uh, the month and then just like it'll get emailed to you guys for free. So that's what I have here. And that's what like, it looks really fun. Like I, the reason why I said that, cause it kind of works with this. I can just put on an overlay and it'll look pretty cool, right? Um, But that's not the point, okay? What the point is, is to make those little circles and then use filter, blur, motion blur. And then going ahead and using about 250 distance is pretty good for your motion blur. And now right now you can't really see, if I put this on overlay, you really can't see everything. So I don't, this is a cheat sheet way to do this. Bro, if anyone knows how to do this a different way, what I'm gonna do right now, let me know. But what you can do is press Control J, like maybe like 10 times, okay? To actually bring out the design, because it's kind of like thinned out. And when you thin out or stretch it, what's kind of like basically doing with the motion blur, it's like thinning out the opacity as well. So I don't really know how to fix that or make it look any different. But right now I can just combine everything together now. So it'll be all one layer. And what I can do is then put it on overlay and you'll be able to see it a lot better. And now if you guys want to have them a little longer, like the actual motion blur a little longer, just take, uh, you can just either click on motion blur again or press control F on your keyboard. And you'll see if you look here, it makes it longer, right? And there we go. I can just use my eraser now, kind of erase with a soft brush away from my, my text layer. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm down for this, dude. It looks really freaking awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do, finally, the last thing I wanna do is uh, really simply just do this little thing right here, right? And now, is, mine is a little more, a lot more orange, by the way, because like I have my vibrance. I might have my vibrance a little different than everyone else's, or in this example here. Uh, either my vibrance or my contrast. I might have, yeah, I probably went negative, more negative my my uh, my contrast here, or my brightness here. So. If you guys want more orange, if you guys are using orange, you can just go a little more negative. And this looks pretty good. I'm just going to keep it there. Or maybe like negative 25 or negative 20. That's pretty good. Um, So that little thing I did on my link boxes were just something really simple. I made a new layer below, kind of like my text. Use my pen tool. Zoom in a little bit. Kind of like line this up pretty well, right? You just want to click, 
click once again or hold shift. I, I'm not holding shift. That's why it's not like a straight line. If you hold shift, it makes a straight line. Click somewhere close to the other side. Connect it just like so. Right click, fill path, drop down, use white. Pressing OK. And I'll basically put this on that new layer right here. And what you can do is you can just hold alt shift, make a duplicate of it. Maybe like twice or three times basically. It's like, you know, to the amount of duplicates you probably want to do is the amount of text boxes you have here. Um, and then just basically shift click on everything, control G, group it all together. And we'll just call this like line. And then pretty much you can just make a duplicate by holding alt and shift. And then control T to free transform, right click, flip horizontal. And then you get something like this. Now this looks pretty cool, right? Having like something like that, maybe like having them on an overlay, right? That look pretty freaking dope. Uh, if you like, if you're like a fan of that, or if you want to do is either just uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control G these actual two groups together, control J to make a duplicate. And we're going to call that duplicate one backup. Just get rid of it, make it another color red. So I know that I can just redo it if I need to. And then press control E because right now we can't fix anything and everything is going to be combined. So put this on overlay again, take my eraser. Now what you can do is like, you can either fade away these things, kind of like make them look like flares, right? Right, they'll look, they'll look pretty good as well. Or what you can do is kind of like push them in. Something like that. Oh, see how I messed up? I'm gonna need to go back to my backup, make a duplicate, and I have to push them in earlier. So I'm just gonna do this now. And then I'll combine it, merge it together, change it back to overlay, and then use the eraser again. Right, and you can just do it like this, kind of like have them fade away. And then you can also like maybe like say like my length, I want to have like one short, one long, and then one short. You can do that or make them like like a pyramid kind of thing going on there. Like low, medium, high, something like that. But it looks pretty cool. It's just like a little aesthetic thing you want to do. And of course you want to make sure they're pretty even on both sides. Mine is not even at all. Don't worry about it. It's just for the tutorial. And pretty much you're good to go. Like also what you can do is do I have like a picture in here. I got palm trees in here. Um, what you can do is like also throw a picture in. I've just noticed, I've seen this picture like everywhere. Holy crap. I literally just got it. <laughs> like right there. Um, so pretty much normal. Change it from normal. I'm going to flip through these really quickly. Ooh, overlay or soft light? Ooh, this is hard. I'm just going to load the opacity on it, of course. Ooh, look up. Look, that looks pretty freaking dope. And now what I can do as well is rash as a layer. Use my eraser and kind of erase around where I don't really want the palm trees. Dude, hell yes. Pictures is definitely a go on this. All right, guys, that's basically it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really try to like force you guys to understand like, you know, this is easy. This is a lot different than this. You know what I mean? It takes time, it takes practice. And that's what I wanna show you guys and showcase for you guys on today's video, of course. Uh, like I said, do not forget to submit for the new top three, week three. Um, Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Please do subscribe. And of course, two likes on the video equals a secret down below, which most likely be the PSD of this video. It's kind of like a pre-made, you can say as well. Um, Just say straight up, thank you guys so freaking much. I hope you guys really enjoy the simplistic series. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's like a really fun, uh, like it's extremely hard. Today's tutorial, like, bro, I've been sitting here for like six hours thinking about what to do. It's no joke. I take time on these kind of things. And I really try to think them out and really help explain it. And just like, you know, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm freaking super thankful. Straight up, we're almost close to 60K. So don't forget to share the video as well. Also, make sure you tell all your friends to subscribe to me. If they're not already subscribed, they're losers. And you're the, like really cool people. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SwitchQ. Don't forget to check out my store, my pre-made store, uh, selfie.com slash SwitchQ for any pre and packs as well as five bucks. Um, straight up, thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later. Sets so, so, you out. Peace.